enter the stars and the pre-programming for vidco 19 went all the way back to 2014. now we found other productions that went back much further but this particular production helix was very very specific now what i did is i put together a montage of all of the decodes that we did on this series. I think it went two or three seasons. Started in 2014. And it was very specific about the things to come. And what it would entail. So we're going to go over that montage today. I pre-recorded this show. Um, hopefully I'll be with you guys in the chat. Unless something comes up. But I pre-recorded this show. So that you guys could see these decodes that we did on the helix series now some of you have already seen this particular montage others have not we've got a lot of new people on the channel and so i'm looking forward to presenting this to you today now the very first thing the obvious thing that you see in this headliner this banner whatever you want to call it is the spike protein now this would become the signature of vidco 19 i know a lot of viruses have spike proteins but this particular one is different in the fact that it is so specific to VidCo19 and the spam demic. Let's get into this montage. It's about 30 minutes long. We're going to break this down piece by piece and check this out. Please take out your left hand. RFID marker injected under the skin. We all have them. Yours will give you unrestricted access to the base. So obviously it's an RFID marker, a chip for access to the base, and they put, they, well, what they put this on the left hand or the right hand? Let's play that back. Please take out your left hand. RFID marker injected under the skin. We all have them. Yours will give you unrestricted access to the base. So this is the left hand. Now the Bible says if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off. And so this is obvious mockery and gaslighting of the Bible. We all know these chips are coming because we just read about them, didn't we? Nokia made some kind of an announcement that they would be putting chips into people's hands so that they could access what they used to be able to access on a cell phone. And now it's going to be accessible through some kind of eyeglass interface or the very lens of your eye. And this is all coming with the advent of 6G technology. Let's keep playing this, see what we find here. Main elevator. Now that's the exact location where the Nokia New story said that the chip would go right there in the palm of the hand. It's unlikely as cutting off a man's hand to access his RFID chip. There's the cutting off of the hand, which is mentioned in the Bible, of course. Peter gave himself up. So everyone accepts the mark. Obviously, the mark of the beast is what they're getting at here. When you accept this injection. They have no sex organs. Makes control easier. Got an ex-husband, I wouldn't mind trying that on. We designed a way to inhibit the signaling pathway responsible for genitalia. Where are the monkeys? We don't have any monkeys. <sighs> Kidding, right? With the kind of work you're doing here. No monkeys means no monkeys. Now that's obviously a reference to Planet of the Apes. Lots and lots of decodes of Planet of the Apes. The simian virus, which was spread through the uh, polio vaccine. Remember that? And it accidentally contaminated millions of people with this monkey flu. Because it was cultured in monkey cells. Remember that? Now, the whole goal is to basically dumb down the genitalia, as you heard her say... That's the way to make people docile and also to confuse people. And this is where they're headed with this. This is what all this is about. They want pretty much one world, I guess you call it gender. Let's keep listening. These are the other two victims that were found with Peter. Open the back. What the hell? Well, that's obviously the black goo, and we've seen that in everything, right? It's the blue blood, and this is the goal, is to basically replace the iron-based blood with the copper-based blood. Here you see the spike protein. See that? 
that is very specific. See the Wi-Fi signal there? 6G and beyond. This is where it's all headed. There you see some programming there. 322, 223 backwards. There's the Wi-Fi signal next to the spike protein next to the virus because the two are one and the same or interact with each other. Now I like to go back through some of these montages from time to time because we pick up even more clues that we might have missed the first time. Here you're gonna, they're going to talk about essential workers. Let's seal off this part of the base. All non-essential personnel, keep them in dedicated safe rooms. Nobody travels unless they travel with a partner. Wait, there's more. I mean, it doesn't get any more specific than that, does it? This mutation only occurs in a fraction of the samples. It's minimal, but it's statistically relevant. Now you'll notice that there's a conception uh, component to this. In other words, as black goo enters the cell, let's back that up just a little bit. And it almost appears as though it looks like sperm fertilizing the egg. What's that? This mutation only occurs in dedicated safe rooms nobody travels unless they travel with a partner wait there's more see that so there's something to that remember we talked about the hair and the hair being a metaphor a woman's glory is her hair and that being a metaphor for conception that the follicle of the hair which has the same name as the follicle of the egg of the ovum of the womb is fertilized and it looks like a sperm going into an egg, doesn't it? Oh, what the hell is that? This mutation only occurs in a fraction of the samples. It's minimal, but it's statistically relevant. So it's about changing the DNA, isn't it? Oh my God. We thought it was just replicating, but there's something else. I heard these germ docs over at Fort Detrick talking about using viruses to move DNA around. Gene delivery vehicles? But what's it doing to them? Gene delivery vehicles. Now, this was all before everything, before the fact checkers, before all of that. They were already talking about this. And then they wonder why people think that these things are possible with the new technology that they had out for the Vidco Smack the Nation. They wonder why people have these ideas in there. And it's because they've been programmed. They've watched a series like this that are already telling you what's going to happen. For lack of a better term, it's changing him. Into what? Yeah, that was it. What if this virus is acting like a freight train pulling some weird-ass DNA behind it? Someone designed this virus. Never seen this combination before. What's the message? Can you tell what they designed it? So listen to that word message, right? Messenger. Message. Does it do? looking at the hand of man here proteins specifically designed to bind the virus to specific cells so we can deliver its genetic message and there's some other monkey business i think dr farragut would like to hear about she's in the advanced stages but got her trained up on monkey juice took me a long damn time to haul her ass up here monkey juice so uh, obvious references to Planet of the Apes, which is basically what's happening right now. You know, they know that when they when the they rolled out the polio smaxine, that basically they knew that it was not, I guess, widely tested, and they probably knew about the risk of the simian flu and simian virus, you know, being attacking people, but they just went ahead with it anyway. Well, if that could happen then, then what can happen now is the big question, right? Let's keep watching. 
up here's the base in antarctica these people are here in this lab and this virus outbreaks and they're trying to stop it from spreading outside of this area but here we have the sub-zero temperatures which is what this vaccine had to be at didn't it to in order to survive until it could be put into the host now why would it have to be at sub-zero temperatures before it was put into someone's body and then all of a sudden it doesn't have to be in sub-zero temperatures anymore like what is that about i don't know the answer to that but here you see the base it looks like an iris or a pupil the pupil in the middle the iris around it which we know the irises are portals let's keep watching here here's another shot of it People aren't showing symptoms yet. How do we know who's infected? We'll need a test. But first, we need to synthesize a pure sample of the virus. Both viruses. Something we can administer quickly. A rapid response test would be the fastest. Neither Narvik A nor B show up as a pathogen in any existing database. Another false positive. <sighs> Me too. I've gone through all the atypical enzymes. The Sarger treatment has never been tested on human beings. Not once. So this is like the, the whole warp speed scenario, uh, inaccurate testing, all this. These are all things that we went through. I wish we had time for testing, but we don't. That doesn't mean it won't work. It's a universal antiviral. Killing a human being with an untested treatment, it's unconscionable. It's unlikely that the patient will regain consciousness or be able to maintain his own life without the ventilator. Remember the push, the ventilator push? A trait that they want us to manifest. Now, here's where we get into the whole zombie apocalypse scenario. Because, uh, I mean, it's already happening. People are losing their hair in patches. It's one of the first signs of some kind of rabies, you know, virus. Rabies attack, right? And so this is already happening. We're in the early stages of something, uh, what I believe to be far worse. And this disease is a way to force it in. On the inside out. I mean, I mean, I'll be perfect, but I like what I am. We're not infected yet. Stop whoever's doing this before they cause any real damage. This place is a, it's a time bomb waiting to go off and we're pretending this damn things are going to save us. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the, the, the masks, you know, don't work is what they're inferring here in this fictitious TV series. So that was the part one. And now let's get into the next part here. She's an expert in RNA structure. And that's important because? RNA carries the message. We store the instructions for the cure in the DNA, and then the RNA passes it on. Wait, what about- She wrote the book on viral splicing and RNA binding proteins. I need her, we need her to fight this thing. So this is obviously the technology uh, uh, that, that would they would bring to bear. It's being specifically talked about here. M to the R to the N to the A, obviously. And this was before it, this was ever tested in humans. On display here in this series. More closely. Oh my God. I can't believe I didn't see it before. He's using the virus as a delivery mechanism. The question is, what's the virus bringing to the party? So the cure becomes the disease, right? Apollo. And why? Extreme low temperature. Slowing down the effects of the virus. This means this may work on humans. We need to get Peter on ice. So they put the guy on ice to basically slow down the progression of the disease. Now this actress that you just saw is, was 33 years old or is 33 years old uh, at the time of this decode. Uh, and she was born on Thump's birthday. Look at this. What? All 
I remember this was before he was elected is when this series came out. Mr. Warp Speed himself. He tried to kill me back at the base. What? When? Go ahead. Ask him. Are you out of your mind? That's my brother. That's my brother to Luke. Daniel is your brother? Who's Daniel? Are you So there's this twin, this twinning aspect to this. Um, which has come up over and over again. I believe it represents the twin spirits. Uh, two spirits in one host body. In other words, possession. Eliminated him. You fool! Don't you see? Met to look outside. This is Miksa. Disappeared when we were kids. He was only four years old. This is a picture of me and my brothers. Twins. Well, Valoria and- Valoria and Valoria is- It's about value add. If Dr. Walker is what you need, Dr. Walker is what you will get. So, Hilaria is the name of this corporation who was basically financing the development of this disease. And they knew what it was about. They were trying to create some kind of superhuman, if I remember the plot correctly. But Hilaria- is an ancient Roman sacrifice, a Roman sacrificial ritual, tree sacrifice, and trees are people, aren't they? Amaria, Amaria. Three twenty-two is when Hilaria starts. Ancient Roman festival. And at first we ourselves having fallen from heaven. So this is the whole fallen angel lore. Right there in the name of the corporation in this TV series. These people do a lot of research to be evil, don't they? They enter the tree. Cutting down the trees. Now this is talked about in the, I think it's in the book of Jeremiah. God forbids people from cutting down trees and putting ornaments on them. It's right there in the Bible, you guys. And here, and it's actually even specific. It's a pine tree, which would be like a Christmas tree, right? And this is what they did. And this is probably why God hated this. Because it was the part of this ritual, cutting down a tree and placing it inside a temple of Sybil. Look at this, fleeces of wool. This is Christmas, right? This is what, so what Santa Claus does. Fleeces of wool would be tied around the tree trunk. See, now, the, the shearing of the wool is another component to this that we discovered since this decode. So... You see now how all the puzzle pieces are coming together. This balding or shearing of the wool. Wow, wreaths. Christmas wreaths. Look at this. Unbelievable. They basically repackaged these ancient cults into modern holidays. And it's on, on 322 is when the tree is entered. This is when they cut down the tree and set it up at the Temple of Sybil and wrap it in wool and wreaths. And there's the day of blood three days later or two days later uh, scourging and whipping 
It almost sounds like a mockery of what happened to Jesus. You know, the cutting down of the tree to have him crucified on, that he had to carry up to Golgotha, uh, and scourging and whipping, um, wrapped and draped in some kind of cloak. And I don't know if it was a wool cloak that was wrapped around him. And then they laugh and it's just, wow, dark stuff, you guys. You don't want to kill everybody. Just thin the herd a bit. And rule them. It's time. Virus and cure. One without the other is meaningless. I created your virus. Where is the cure? So obviously the virus and the cure both go together hand in hand. Now, when all this popped off a couple of years ago, remember there was people reporting the change in the color of their eyes. Well, that's a component in this series as well. Let's not forget which side you're on. Now, the neurological issues. Remember, the, the water's gotten muddied because... They weren't, you know, they were trying to blame it on Vidco 19, but then some of the issues were happening after the smack scene and it all got jumbled up and nobody really knew what caused what. All about the sound frequencies. You saw the poster in the background there. Pathology, the study of sound. It's an LRAD device. It's um, a sound cannon. Police use them for crowd control. So they try to use sound to control these zombies that are running around in the base that have been infected. Frequency range. on this device allow for high precision targeting. That's right out of iPad Go too. Remember the goat inside of the crate. They muzzle her and stick her in a crate. And I'm pretty sure the mods on this device allow for high precision targeting. <laughs> Situation. Edward Jenner infected an eight-year-old boy with smallpox to test an unproven theory. You may have done some terrible things, but I can't help but think that none of that will matter if we get this antiviral to work. They look at this as a means to an end, and they put so much fear out there about the disease that they ju try to justify what they think they have to do to quote-unquote protect us all. And in that, we lose our rights and freedoms. He could have been charged with murder. Jenner pioneered the use of modern vaccinations. He saved millions of lives. You can see her telomeres have lengthened. Restored to the lengths that you'd expect to see in a newborn, all without requiring telomerase. This is a scan of Julia's telomeres taken eight days ago when she was first infected with the virus. And this is her sample from two days ago. 
So I looked up telomeres. You saw her mention that. And apparently they're related directly to VidCo19. People that have it uh, have their telomeres shortened. Can't believe that her birthday is Thump's birthday. That's crazy. It says here that telomere shortening as a consequence of the viral infection. I'm saying that funny because of YouTube impedes tissue regeneration. And that is why a significant number of patients suffer prolonged sequelae. Now, is this a side effect of the virus, like the pigmentation change in her eyes, or is this why she recovered? Here are some of the side effects that uh, were published to the mainstream media. L losing teeth, flatulence. Um, this is what they claimed were from it. Uh, crying. Changing eye color. Saying extremely unlikely to be linked to Vidco smack scene. Now, is this a side effect of the virus, like the pigmentation change in her eyes? You can survive four minutes without oxygen, 40 days without food. Four days without water. Theoretically, we could induce the absence of telomerase. That, in turn, would remove the fuel necessary for cancer cells to grow. And if we could remove the fuel, then my cancer cells would die. There's the Christ mockery there, obviously. You have two choices. You either choose Jesus on the cross, or you choose the bronze serpent on the cross. Those are the two choices. The caduceus. Who are they? The 500. 500 immortals. Obviously the 200 fallen angels is what they're getting out of here. They run Ilaria Corporation. Look at this. These are the two strains and Keep calm and carry on. This was one of the campaigns. If you scatter to the wind, you still have a fighting chance. Can't one of the campaigns during VidCo19. And it appears before VidCo19 ever happened. A mug with the same saying on it. The black goo. The zombie like vomiting into the black goo. Wow. That rat didn't crawl in there by itself. Obviously microwaves, jive gee whiz. Dr. Cato went out to look for some food. We warned her not to go alone, but she wouldn't listen. They're using bait. Setting traps now. They know food is scarce and people are desperate. I think these vectors represent a new step in evolutionary virology. It's created a new kind of organism, a viral collective. This is an evolved virus that both changes the host and stays active until that host dies of other causes. What are we looking at? See the 5-7 there? Jive G, that's 5-7. Seems there's been an outbreak of an unknown viral illness in Laura's Puerto Rico. Sick and untold number of dead. And they're calling it Sangre Negra. Black blood. Number of dead. And they're calling it Sangre Negra. Like an untold number of dead. And they're... Sangre Negra, which means black blood. 
which is the blue blood. Flores is isolated. It's the perfect sample size to see how the virus behaves in a given population. There are no reports of vectors, so it must be Narvaquet. This is unspeakable. Are you sure it wasn't an accident? No, it was a test run. <laughs> Look at the Q-tips, really? They were running interference while it was developed at warp speed. Never forget. We have to trust that our treatment will work fast enough. In a fair fight, Narvik will mutate to repel anything we throw at it, right? So what we need is an unfair advantage. There is no treatment that's fast enough. So what we need to do is slow down the virus long enough for the cure to take effect. And we can do that by infusing it with cryofluid. Infusing it with cryofluid. Infusing it with cryofluid. Dr. Jordan had the idea of infusing the cure into an ultra low temperature solution, giving the antiviral time to outperform the virus. Virus and cure. They are yours now. Now, these are images from exactly how smack scenes are culture or were culture. The new technology isn't cultured this way, but up until this new technology, this is how it was done in chicken eggs. And you can see they would backlight them, it would candle these eggs so they could see if it was culturing correctly, monitoring it. So, here's some pictures of that. And it looks as though there's a serpent stuck into the back of the egg, doesn't it, as they're candling this. Well, this was depicted in iPad Go 2 from 2012. They knew a worldwide smack scene was coming. There's another image here. And here's the image from iPad Go 2. A serpent literally wrapped around the egg. Now, what is this? Uh, this is from a different series, I believe. Let's keep watching here. We built this place up from nothing. 19 portraits. Persevered through unimaginable hardships. That proud mantle is being passed to you. Are you ready to receive it, Amy? She would be the 20th. Wow, look at that. Needle in the eye. I'd say she's just like you. Now this guy gets injected with the this color in his eye so that people don't know that he's one of these zombies. These zombie vampires. One of these 500. And that's exactly what Mengele did. He injected the twins' eyes with food coloring. So it's all coming full circle. This is the same series. It's just, this is a different plot line there's no one like me remember eyes are portals so basically uh the, the the whatever she's injecting in his eye which in this case is eye coloring it's synonymous it's a metaphor for the injection that changes us it's what it's synonymous with you lied to no, Agnes. Of course I didn't. You told us you were the only one. But I saw her eyes. Silver. Like yours. We at the Ilaria Corporation held out hope that nature would take care of itself. We must take a more active role in the stewardship of the human race. But overpopulation, diminishing resources, and drastic climate change have forced our hand. Look at this. It's like the death map that we saw, right? The uh, Hopkins death map. With 17 coordinated strikes, we can reduce world population by 75% within three months. There's the map right there. 
and we'd still have the ability to administer the cure created by Dr. Walker to any mortals deemed essential. To any mortals deemed essential. The essential workers again. This isn't genocide. It's a cleansing moment of clarity. The cure. A single dose. Keep it safe. It's about to become the most valuable substance on Earth. Best served chilled. So in this, I think this is the second season. That's why the plot kind of changed. But this is what they worship. It's the tree. Remember, it's the uh, the the hilaria is about the tree. It's the cutting of the tree and putting it in the temple of Sybil. And we are the tree. So that's what the metaphor is. They're cutting us all down. Frightened people blaming their doctors for their disease, hurting, even killing them. Get to the lab. Protect Sarah. Go. Now, back then, we had foreshadowed that there would come a time where there'd be a day of reckoning with doctors. And the people would turn on them. And that's kind of what's happening now. It's not happening to the extent that I, I thought it would. But people don't trust doctors anymore after what they've just been through. People dread going. They're, you know, these routine checkups. Remember that? That that got put aside and stopped during the time of the spam spamdemic. And people just never went back. And doctors went from heroes to zeros. That part did come true. As well as the nurses. They're being laid off now. Um, the government has come against them. Forced them to take the smack scene. Many of them protested. But ultimately they lost their jobs. So this did in fact happen. I've seen this before. Frightened people blaming their doctors for their disease, hurting, even killing them. What's the project? A world where only one field yields a crop, while the rest lie barren. Grafted it into apples. One dose, no side effects. Simple, elegant, guaranteed results. So they use, in, in, the, in the plot here, they use this one dose of this medicine to basically render most of humanity infertile. So that, and this is how they control the population of humanity. Infertility? That's right. With that technology, Alaria can control the spread of the mortal population. Without resorting to genocide. Yes, it would solve their human problem. And the best part? It only affects mortal man. So no one else can father children except for him. And any other immortal man. Any monkshood and opium poppy? Four to one ratio. Muscles are paralyzed, breathing stops. Thinning is a necessary part to what we do. And death comes as a quick release. You're going to kill them? They're at the end of their path. I have no choice. When she was a young girl, a decision was made to thin the fellowship, to wipe the slate clean and start over. The good doctors from the CDC have developed a serum to combat the illness which has been plaguing our fellowship. They're administering it right now to the sick outside. Well, this guy offers a cure, but the cure is actually the disease. He's like a kind of a cult leader and all these people drink the Kool-Aid. It's like a Jim Jones scenario here. I want you to take your men. I need you outside on the perimeter. When do we get the cure? And they have even provided us with an oral vaccine so that we might not become affected either. Is it safe? I thought you might ask me that. And this was the, the ritual that we saw all throughout. 2021 and 2022 as all the powers that be in the controllers got up in front of everybody on cameras i mean it was so cringy and they took the smack scene as and wanted us to believe that they were really taking it and there was debacle after debacle there were remember they had to even make up an, a needle that was self-retracting <laughs> 
And I don't even remember that ever being the case. But they came up with some kind of cover story that, oh, it was a self-retracting you. This We have these already. Wow. See? Totally painless. <laughs> Men, aid our women before helping yourself. Parents, administer to your children. They want to give it to the children. Same thing. See the elderly offer them assistance. More than enough to go around. There, I met this little boy named Arthur, and he was a very brave boy. And it was free, and so there was that as well. What's going on here? He used to always have a blanket that he would tie around his shoulders like a cape. Oh, so there's your serpent in the chest. Superman, as his boy, channels Superman with the cape around him. And that's what this is about. It's bringing the serpent into the chest. The unclean spirit. Preparing the host body for the unclean spirit. So I asked him one day, I said, Arthur, why do you tie a blanket around your shoulders? And he said, because I'm Superman and Superman can fly and he'll never get sick because he can fly away from any disease. <laughs> I've only got 72 hours until Alaria releases the new Narvik Sea. What could Alaria possibly have to gain? I'd like to quote Shakespeare, John Donne. Now, here's where I found the word Vidco inside the tree. Edward Stein. I admit the last one is a bit of an anachronism, but I couldn't resist. These are fragments of prior builds. The reveries must be allowing him to access them. No cause for alarm, Bernard. Simply our old book coming back to haunt us. A new strain, Narvik C. It's self-replicating. It's self-replicating. It's self-replicating. So it'll spread around the globe in a matter of weeks, if not days. I don't see how we can help. So they spread this through apples. And when you bite the apple, literally, it's just the story of the Garden of Eden all over again. When you bite the apple, you become merged with the serpent seed, basically. And it's happening all over again. What's wrong? There are no seeds. We don't need seeds. We graft all our trees from the original rootstock. We call her mother. But we need seeds to plant trees. That's the point of this whole mission. Michael discovered mother quite by accident when the orchard was suffering from a terrible blight. Found this in his stomach. It looks like tree sap. What you got there? It's from the bleeding tree. The bleeding tree? We eat it so we don't get more sick. Yeah. The implications of worldwide sterilization. Infertility is a way to temporarily depopulate just until resources are replenished. So they grow these sterile apples that cause humanity to become sterile from a tree root. And this has to be a reference to the Book of Enoch and the cutting of roots taught to humanity by the fallen angels. Now, as you can see, as we're getting into the meat of this decode, you can see how underrated this decode was. Because it was so specific. Talking about things that hadn't happened yet. And this is why I redid this particular show. So that the word can finally be spread. About what it is that they were planning. And how they were depicting this. In their entertainment media. These are the kinds of decodes that wake people up. Now I know some of you are growing weary from these decodes. Well, always remember and never forget. 
99% of the world has never seen one of these decodes. And though you may be tired of seeing them and you get the point and wondering what the point is, the work is not even close to being done yet until these videos and decodes are seen by billions of people then things aren't going to change in the way that we want them to change yes there's a lot of truth out there but this truth is pretty impactful i think that everyone would agree that if you could get somebody to sit through a couple of these decodes it would change their life it would change their mind and people would wake up and beginning begin to make different choices they would stop believing in men to solve their problems stop voting for politicians who are really good at lying to us over and over again and if you take it a step further really are out to harm us because they are being ruled by the enemy let's keep watching here when i got your spinal fluid you had only been an immortal for a few days your cells had yet to specify the rna chain and once immortal dna is transcribed into rna those mature cells are no longer transferable they were brought here stripped of all non-essentials it's not about propagating family it's about control respect True leaders will make you believe that their ideas are your own. Stripped of all non-essentials. That their way is the only way. Some abomination there. So now you're seeing the link between Jesus and the tree. As I stated earlier in this decode, the link is, is there. Okay. This whole cutting down of the tree it is definitely linked into Jesus and the crucifixion and that's how they mock him that's why we've got this inverted crucifixion position here above the tree of Hilaria Did you have anything the almost poetic reference to the tree so who do you think did it Robert Frost the mother tree there's the mother tree, the umbilical stump. We are the trees. This is why your fingerprint looks like tree rings. Michael built the abbey right on top of it. We can create widespread infertility without any mycotic effects. But you don't have the root. I don't need it. Mother was just a repository for the fungus. With modern gene splicing, we can insert the fungus into any plant we want. This is Dr. Kyle Summer with the CDC requesting immediate evacuation from St. Germain Island. This is Dr. Kyle Summer with the CDC requesting immediate evacuation from St. Germain Island. From St. Germain Island. From St. Germain Island. Who is St. Germain? Watch. The Ouroboros, the snake eating its tail. Ouroboros of fire is what you just saw there. Do you know the way to San Jose? Wait. Has to be a reference to Gil Bates, San Jose, Microsoft, of course. Do you know the way to San Jose? You know the way to San Jose? 17 vials of mycosis cure. Well, we're not going to have time to run this through the normal drug testing protocol. You don't have to. This is a real deal. Well, we're not going to have time to run this through the normal drug testing protocol. Can you stake your life on it? I already have. That said, fight the flu. Where does my food come from? Is it safe to eat? Is it natural? Ilaria Fresh means no harmful pesticides. 
When you shop Ilaria Fresh, you're pledging your commitment to the stewardship of the future. So by feeding them this mo genetically modified fruit, it changes people's DNA. So humanity becomes genetically modified and it makes them sterile. Brave the new world of sustainable resources. From our family to yours, Ilaria Fresh. I saw a little girl the other day. And this is what we all had to endure with these, these thermometers aimed at our temple of our head. About three or maybe four years old. I want to start my own family. I thought it was dreaming. Look, they're doing some pretty heavy duty botanical work here. Hybrid breeding, seed manipulation. They're combining traits of different plants to create entirely new variants. Look at this. So the metaphors just don't stop because this is about seed manipulation. We are metaphors for the plants. This is why all of our description of our you know, reproduction is, are all metaphors for the reproductions that plants have, right? Seeds, fruit, children. Skin's raised. It's a puncture wound, but it's too small to be a needle. Could be a bite or sting. You mean like GMOs? They don't have the technology. They don't need it. Grafting's been around for centuries. Gregor Mendel was crossbreeding pea plants in the 1850s. Doesn't fit our profile, but we might just be looking at an insect borne vector. Blood serum data on the victims show elevated alkaloid levels, including derivatives of lysergic acid and agroclavi. Mike over fungus plus psychotic. Catchy. And that is consistent with fungal poisoning. Stomach contents in all three of our island victims tested negative for any fungal metabolites. Now, if you'll remember, there was this whole fungal outbreak associated with Vidco-19 and the Smaxine. For any fungal metabolites. For any fungal metabolites. Which only means that the source breaks down quickly enough to be undetectable. I firmly believe in the value of creating a humane urban enforcement weapon. For the past two years, Metadyne Pharmaceuticals has been developing a clandestine urban control agent for military and civilian law enforcement agencies. And I still believe the Dayton C viral agent, which carries altered messenger RNA into targeted host cells, is the way to go. Microwave decontamination procedure will commence in... This is from an Outer Limits episode, 1995, talking about microwaves, which is Jive G, as well as... What else did he say here? Let's back this up a little bit. Breaks down quickly enough to be undetectable. I firmly believe in the value of creating a humane urban enforcement weapon. For the past two years, Metadyne Pharmaceuticals has been developing a clandestine urban control agent for military and civilian law enforcement agencies. And I still believe the Dayton C viral agent, which carries altered messenger RNA into targeted host cells, is the way to go. So they're talking about the new technology, the M to the R to the N A technology. 1995. Oh. Microwave decontamination oh. procedure oh. will commence in 15 seconds. Decontamination. Security codes are locked out. Microwave decontamination procedure will commence in a second. The virus is harmless. It's been genetically deactivated. Stop the decontamination. My mother's dead. She had Huntington's Korea. My father spent half his life looking for the cure. They suffer from tremors. And yeah, loss of coordination. Sometimes in bad cases, schizophrenia. Like a zombie. And then, ultimately... Well, there's a test for it. Yeah. This is strain H, one of Dayton C's deadlier cousins. It kills within 10 to 20 seconds by clotting blood in the lungs and brain. Well, that was pretty much happening, right? 
pulmonary embolisms. What would happen if uh, it mutated into the rodent population or even the insect world? I mean, picture a world death rate cut by a thousand percent. You get, say, a, a billion mouths to feed within the next two years. That's massive starvation. Look, I don't want to take chances with a genetically altered retrovirus, and I don't believe you do. It just amazes me that we spend millions to develop these deadly viruses you can't even work on outside of a suit, and the minute we find something that's actually going to help people... Right. It was in the blood. He drew blood. Peter, unlock the door. Security code McKendrick 5775. That code has. Damn it. 5775. State authorized security. Code. McKendrick, damn it. 5775. I meant to tell you, Carl, you're fired. That code. I meant to tell you, Carl, you're fired. That code has been terminated. You're fired. That code has been terminated. So you can suppress the retrovirus? Suppress it? No. Restrict it? Absolutely. After he sprayed me, I felt a tingling sensation creep down my spine. Corticosteroids block the Dayton C and the bronchiole. We were even looking at that. Corticosteroids block the Dayton C in the bronchiole. In a few seconds, I couldn't walk. I, I, I collapsed. I could barely breathe. I could barely reach for my inhaler. So, there you go. Right there in your face. Never forget, you guys. Never forget. When you're having doubts or you're thinking about going to vote or, you, you know, never forget what we just went through. So, that's pretty much it for Helix. I'm glad I was able to present this back to you guys. I love each and every one of you. Have a great rest of your day, you guys. Take care and be safe.